Please remind me because I forgot to record. Okay, this is a, a review paper as I mentioned. Review paper is very important. Also, like what are the aspect of this parameters? They are also discussed here. And they have used the table for each parameter, like author, what fluid they have used, what is configuration, type of investigation, observation, comment. I'll move to the references. Okay. In the references, how they write. This is the book. Okay. So in the book, many times what happens, the uh, journal will provide you the way we have to write the references. Like here, uh, surname, comma, initials, a dot, e dot, then name of the topic. Okay. Techniques of augmenting heat transfer it was taken from the handbook of heat transfer this is the name of the book this is the italic means tilted work okay then when it was published what is the chapter number who is the publisher like this for the book okay <coughs> now we'll see in the journal what we have to write the same thing we have to do write the authors first will be family name comma initials and if there are only two authors, then we have to write in between and, then surname, comma, initials, full stop, then title of the paper. This is the title of the <coughs> paper. Then we have to write from which journal it is taken. It is taken from American Journal of Heat Transfer. It was published in 1976. It was volume 98. And it was ranging from 251 page number 2. 256. In this way, we write the reference. And if we, here we mention the reference number 6. Okay. Now when we write a references, we generally come from uh, starting, you can see there uh, any references appearing. Any references appearing, you tell me. Yeah, I'm seeing. Like you can see here, uh, review, this started from here. This is the first paper is appearing. Review, yes. <laughs> Whatever is one there, they write in a square bracket. Okay, this is by Bugless. So Bugless, Bugless is here. Okay, Bugless is here. So so like all bugles will be one, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Huh. And we have to go in the sequence. How okay. they appear in the uh, text. Like here it is starting. Review, review it is starting from. So first is appearing one, then appearing two, appearing three, four, five, like this. So sometimes uh, four is here, maybe six later on. So that's why it is uh, six is here, seven. <coughs> How their reference occurs in the text that way we have to write in the in that sequence we have to write in the table at the end. Okay, in the end we have to write in that sequence. Okay. Show the table once again, sir. Huh? Show the table once again. Yeah, yeah. Just where is people? So I can I close that. I will open again. Okay. No, no. I think it's there. This is the writing table. Okay. See the table. Please understand, yes, table yes. is very important. No? It is very quick, quick overview of the work. <coughs> like he is pointing out what is the range of Randall number, what is the range of Randall number for water and for ethyl, ethylene glycol. 
Okay, so yeah. is there any doubt? No. So this table is very important. Okay. This table is very important. This table is very important. You have to create this. Where any important uh, equation that you are getting well, I think there, there, there are two tables. So, first table is for laminar flow. There are two types of flow, laminar and turbulence. First is for laminar flow and second is for Turbulent. Turbulent. Okay. So they have used all this. Let me just read one paragraph in the literature review. An extensive literature review of all types of heat transfer augmentation techniques with the external insert up to 1924 has been discussed by Burgles. Okay, so they have given what is in short done by the Burgles. Literature review is included in the particular book, Burgles' book, okay, up to 1984. Then, 1984, yeah. Afterwards, uh, what is done? Like uh, with him studied the heat transfer enhancement by means of the twisted tape insert way back at the end of 19th century. Date and Singham numerically investigated heat transfer enhancement in laminar viscous. Like my guide and his student has investigated like this. To tell okay. what they have done. Here the parameter may not come like which Reynolds number, which uh, tape, but it will come in the table. Okay. Okay. So I stop here. If you have any doubt, you can ask. One thing, sir, what I have noticed as a trend, cross referring mm -hmm. is very, very uh, common or very important. Cross referring. Cross referring means? Like you are putting the uh, uh, observation of uh, author in mm -hmm. your... Uh, uh, thesis and then mm. you are cross referring to, to that uh, point in the form of a table mm -hmm. and then probably uh, uh, one would elaborate on that point about my own uh, view. Mm -hmm. So am I right in thinking that way? I am not getting what you are telling. No, no. When we are making this table, mm -hmm. we are basically uh, creating this table out of the text which is uh, 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 made. Yeah, yeah, text, uh, maybe calculation, tables, numerical tables, conclusions, okay? Correct, correct, got it. We have to see, like, sometimes it may not be given the parameters, like, uh, for water, what is the Prandtl number? So, we have to carefully see, yeah. maybe in, sometime it will be given in the graph, like, Reynolds number is ranging from what to what. We have to not be given in table form, but maybe given in graphical form, so we have to interpret and write. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, uh -huh. 
uh, actually uh, i have a uh, query mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when we uh, down download the papers from uh, uh, google uh, mm -hmm. sometimes we can see only abstract not the full paper mm -hmm. so shall we get any um, means uh, facility from the college side or uh, something like that uh, we that can call, get call, access call, college will have the access but we need to uh, visit the college okay or you can tell okay. someone who is in the college because when we have PhD center, generally we have the uh, license for the journal. Okay, so you tell someone okay. who is in the campus to download. You send the link. Okay, he can he or she will be able to download for you. And also there is one website called as Sci Hub. Uh, which one? Sci Hub. I will just send it. I will just type here. Okay. Okay. Sir. Here uh, we get pirated papers. Okay. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Without uh, uh, subscription, I will just send the link. Okay. Better not to go for it. But what we need is we need the paper. So what we do? Okay. Okay. I just send you the link. Here you can get okay. the papers without subscription. Okay. Okay. Not sir, okay. all the papers, okay. but majority you get. Okay. So without okay, paying sir. money. Hmm? <laughs> okay, sir. Sir, one more query. Uh, as you have already mentioned that uh, we have to uh, read some 200 to 300 papers. So, um, is there any online or offline platform so that we can uh, so, uh, store these pa papers? Yeah, you can store in your uh, Google. Uh, Google, there is a provision, no? There is a Google, you can say, drive. You can put in your drive, okay? But drive will also have uh, some limitation. Yeah, that's why. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, take paid that's... paid account. If you take paid account, you are, uh, they will allow more more space for you. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.